Good afternoon. Good evening here. Hello. Good <laughs> afternoon from Spain. Good evening, Dubai and Middle East. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you again for being uh, for being with us. Um, yeah, no worries. Life. My um, pleasure, as always. Really, really awesome. Today we're going to be talking about eyes and optical nerve and how with ANS therapy we can really, we, we start looking at the eyes of the patient and we already can, yes, I'm about to put mine uh, at the end of the day. I had a, such a busy day, removed my discs yesterday and today I will patch up after. But um, yeah, how important it is and um, how interesting, like even with all the studies I had before, I did not, well, I knew that the eyes could tell things because when I had my gallbladder issues and my, as a kid, the redundance, I got all yellow and even my eyes, my skin, everything. But mm -hmm. I didn't know how deep it will go until we found ANF therapy. And I really mm -hmm. wanted to share with everyone what we know, how they can notice and start looking for a therapist if they notice anything wrong. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it will be an interesting talking about the optical nerve that many people don't know either, how we can really damage our health, starting by looking at all these blue lights all the day and how all the information comes from it. But I'll let you talk about it. I will put the comments off so you guys can um, ask questions on the side so we can see Dr. Michael's face. And then I open at the very end for the comments and more questions if needed. Okay. Okay. So let me switch it off here. There we go. Now okay. I can see it. Yeah, it's several things you can see on your eyes, what's going on in, in any kind of body, if it's female or man, that is more or less common and talk about. And there is a lot of things you can't see and a lot of things that the optic nerve is actually controlling because most people is just seeing the optic nerve as, okay, this little liquid ball is make sure I can see stuff, print stuff. But that is actually not the main purpose with our vision. I will come back to that a little bit later because there's several things here that is quite interesting and very few people know. Actually, when I also do lecture for severe optic surgeons or uh, opticians or anyone that work with the eyes, they get actually shocked over this because this is something they never learned because it's a complicated thing and it's very few people that have the knowledge and even they dig into the interest to really do any more deeper investigation about this as I did and of course many many others but I will come back to that the easiest thing you can see if you just look at the patient or ask yourself if you stand in front of the mirror is first of all to look so your eyes the white is not red or a lot of red threads and stuff like this because then you have a problem with systemic issue in your lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is your immune system. This is the system that creates your B cells, your T cells, and NK killer cells, and also that works together with your RNA and DNA. And that is, of course, a little bit, a lot of interest through this today when we talk about vaccines and stuff like this. This is why I'm a very, very much against the mRNA vaccine. That's another story, but that's because it's manipulating with our normal B cells that have already learned through microbiota and everything, what kind of diseases my body can handle and have created our immune system against this, so we cannot get it again. Now we do artificially go in and change this history in our DNA, which can have fatal, not in short time, but one year, two months, we, uh, two years, we will see what happened with all these vaccines. Anyhow, this thing with the redness in your eyes is a very good indicator that you should go to ANF specialist and get full e examination of your lymphatic system. Because your lymphatic system is creating all these cells and your lymph nodes especially, do you say the lymph nodes have three different levels of immune response. The first one is with your T cells that is taking care of bacteria, toxins, whatever that's in through your bloodstream, and things like this in the first response. Then you have the T cells that is in the second defense is more stronger and aggressive that if it passed level one, it takes take care of it on level two. 
And then you have the killer cells that can also create fusion with the two others to really destroy a virus bacterial toxin. But if you have this redness in your eyes, it's not only the lymphatic system that is your problem. You also have problem with your liver and your spleen because spleen is the lymphatic system biggest filter organ whatever you want to call it and here you also storage red blood cells and white blood cells that is also there it's like a warehouse it will be released after need so it's always releasing and also producing new ones and also together with the kidneys so now when we talk about kidneys that can also mean you have a problem here so when we talk about redness, this is one thing that can be a major problem that you have invisible inflammation. You can also see it if you push behind the jaw, behind your clavicle and stuff, you have pain. And in your groin, deep in the groin, you have pain there, you have probably a real big problem. And what I say always to my patients here also, and also global, go to an ANF clinic once a month, get a lymphatic treatment that will make your body stronger than ever because they also can give you the cardiovascular treatments to circulate all these liquids that is mandatory super important for everything that our body does so number two you can look at is another thing that's quite common is yellowness in the eye the white is more yellowish it can be dark yellow it can be more bright yellow because here we talk about two different things so if you have darker yellow, or uh, yeah, I could probably explain, you probably have a problem with your liver. The liver is, as I see it in biochemistry, the most important organ we have. And the reason I say this is because it has more than 500 specific functions. It's not that what people are doing, just cleaning the blood. This organ is also producing a lot of many important hormones that people know a little bit about. I don't need to mention them here because it will not save you so much. Also producing, create fusion with different chemicals to create our vitamins. And what you call vitamins and I call acids, enzymes and other stuff that is very important for neurological function and also immune response. But also, of course, it filtrates and regulates the blood, make sure that we're helping returning old blood to the heart so we get it heated up again, get new blood, stabilizing the red blood cells and white blood cells and many other things. Any kind of pain in your right side, in your shoulder, right side of your neck also can indicate of liver issues. And here also is a really, really good to go to an ANF clinic and get that sorted out to remove that even. So all because the uh, liver is like it should be like, how should I say, a sponge, soft, nice, no pain. It's, you should be able to feel the back lobe, the front lobe quite easily by your hands. And it should definitely not be pain. If it is pain or yellows in the eye, you have probably a big problem that can lead to hepatitis and many other uncomfortable things. But That's most of it, yeah. And most of all, it can lead to high colligation of blood. And that means the blood getting thicker very fast and also your vessels and veins cannot increase the vessel radiation to circulate fast enough. And for every time that gets slow, we stimulate to create invisible inflammations and calcifications in arteries and veins, which will lead to other problems that you will notice when you are Oh, some get it early, some get later, but varicose veins is one typical indicator. It can be blood clots, it can be fatigue, it can be many of these issues. That is very, very important. But if you look to it more biochemistry way, it's everything the liver collaborate with all our glands, the endocrine system, the lungs and everything else. And of course, our nerve system, that is our main system, to helping the aerobic system and metabolism of this with the protein synthesis, calcium synthesis, and you mentioned it, that will give us oil even more problem when we get older. So here ANF is unique in that way because it's the only one that can remove this kind of inflammation and also optimize and normalize the function of the liver. The other yellow thing is a little bit more brighter 
and can be also like it can be spot yellow in the white. You need to look very clear with the light and stuff like this. That means you can have a big problem with ammonia regulation together with the kidneys and spleen and liver and pancreas, which also affect insulin regulation and many other things that can also give you severe problems and probably also kidney fatigue and maybe systemic urine infections and uh, easily to get candida and many other things that is collaborating with this when it comes to the female cells especially. And that is, of course, you need to go to get examined and see if you have any inflammation there. So the last thing that is probably the one that very few ever think about is when your eye white is getting grayish or you can have a gray circle around the white uh, and stuff like that. It's normally very shadowish. It's not so clear, but when you look very closely, it's very easy to see. Then you probably have a stomach problem. Inflammation in your gut, it can be allergy, it can be, you probably also have constipation problems or diarrhea issues can be opposite as well, which also means that the amino acids that the intestine produce to actually help building and binding muscle tissue and many other things like ghrelin and gastrin and stuff like this is not working properly. But most of all, the bacteria flora that is over 50 million different bacteria in the intestines is probably imbalanced and in this way create what's called internal inflammation that can lead to alternate colitis, Crohn's disease during age. And this is also very easy to see in the eyes, but then when you get examined and you have a professional exam in your stomach, you can have a lot of liquid in the stomach, you easy bloating, uh, pain during palpation, constipation. Many people think this is, they change the diet because of this, because they don't know better. That can of course make it better, especially if you remove everything that's called gluten, because gluten is actually pure poison for our system, even if it makes food taste good. I tried a lot of gluten-free food and in the beginning it actually doesn't taste good, but it's everything else when you get used to it, it tastes awesome. Uh, but actually that is one thing I recommend all the patients from that have problems to actually stop gluten, even if they don't are gluten intolerant or have celiac or whatever, because no, it will is good. Would you say that the same thing for the lactose? Because I find, you know, again, lactose, it can be extremely inf inflamed. And you you find a lot of people, when you see this gray edge that you see, it's people who love their bread and love their milk, you know, coffee with milk all day, tea with milk all day. And it's incredible when you tell them to switch off and cut it. They're like, wow, I didn't know how, you know, how much difference it will do and it's incredible how it really changes so yeah yeah i mean milk i say like this uh, that and all my kids in the same way since because i have seven of them so I, I said you should only drink milk until the day you stop breastfeeding because milk is not good for our system i don't know in in your country stuff but in scandinavia and in europe we drink milk like crazy. And this is only brainwashing from the system. It's good for your bones. It's, blah. it's for your pure bullshit. It do totally opposite. Mm -hmm. And for female, if you look at like skeletal issues, diseases or whatever, especially in female, they get very easy because of period, menopause, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the, the thousands of different hormones you guys have is affecting your calcium metabolism very badly and this is why you see a lot of women when they get a bit older have so easy to break the hip the bone that they create a lot of problems with because of this so yes it's nothing good for us at all and i would suggest strongly that give your kids milk so long as you breastfeed because the breast milk can you never compare to normal milk i don't know why they even call it the breast liquid for milk but uh, anyhow it is because of the color of course but it is having when you break it down and see what's inside it it has so many things to help the body create neurological fusions so the body can continue to grow 
and establish it actually in the breast milk, have the mother's DNA, RNA, whatever, and, and neurological uh, enzymes and stuff like you said, the nervous system is using, it's actually taking information from the breast milk to the baby's biochemistry function so it can develop their system. And this is amazing. So uh, because a baby or a child, when they are born, have, have no immune system more than the little thing they get uh, during to be in the stomach and actually living on a mother's immune system. But as soon as you come out in an environment, that needs to change very, very fast. This is why the breastfeeding is so important. It starts ASAP after it came out. And when you know, go into this little bit deeper, it's so cool. It, it is so, give you so much knowledge. It's incredible. Cool, cool. A lot of information. And um, yeah, so it's interesting. How, mu how much more do you want? <laughs> I know, I know. I still want to talk about the optical nerve. But so yeah. just a reminder, you know, it's always good for everyone to get in front of the mirror and look at your eyes. Um, I couldn't believe, and it's, you guys all probably know about my health, a long history. And I, couldn't I know believe, about it. You know <laughs> very well. <laughs> and I couldn't believe how... I always complain and I say, why people have so much beautiful white eyes when they take pictures? And I don't remember when was the last picture before ANF that I had my eyes white. And actually, as a baby, my, my eyes used to be much lighter. It was much more greenish. And after all the surgeries on all gallbladder stones and all that, it became like darker and darker. And if you look at inside, you can see a lot of big darker uh, marks on, on the iris of it. So yeah, it's important to everyone to get it and look at your eyes and see where let, let's you see what it tells you you know like is a yellowish why is it always red yes of course sometimes you have people who has uh, night duties and don't sleep well pilots and the stuff that it's been all night uh, flying and then of course your eyes are going to be red but if you your eyes are constantly red there is a big sign there as you said lymphatic system you know the coagulation issues your blood circulation and so on and so always have a look and see what your eyes are telling you it's not shining it's not healthy you can tell when someone is not healthy by looking at their eyes you can see straight away that something is not right and yes search for us on the ANF therapists um, we can help big time I had a massive difference uh, in my eyes for many many years I was able to see the super white eyes back again which is really really awesome and um, I will leave after this live I'll leave everything written again from what we said um, several posts so people can uh, reveal it as well but I would like to touch up on the optical nerve because there is yes. uh, just it yes is your favorite <laughs> i'm so thankful for you bringing that up for us and how much it changes i have many glasses around for the blue lights which i should be using now but uh, we have many so my husband has three or four and i have one at the clinic i have two three in the house because every time working especially at night that's the time i'm gonna do my work i have my blue eyes my blue blockers blue eyes, uh, blue eyes my son not me <laughs> Same here. My blue this is also a blue light reg uh, regulator exactly so we can blo uh, block the blue lights that makes so much uh, damage to our health so just tell us a little bit the importance of the eyes and okay. how our health starts from there. Yes, so the optic nerve, the reason I touch base with the other things for what you can see in the eyes is because to really understand the optic nerve, what it's actually doing and the purpose of our eyes when it comes to the biofunction of the human body, you need to understand this, what is it I'm seeing. As you said, with the blue light, if we touch base there a little bit, the blue light is actually destroying the eye's ability to communicate with our immune response. So... Okay, pause there. Pause there. Repeat that again, please, because that's very important to everyone remember and memorize this, uh, how important it is. Yeah. No, so the, the reason the blue light is so dangerous, it actually destroys our eye's ability to uh, communicate with our immune response. And our immune system, for everything you see, is controlled by the optic nerve. But the blue light stops that ability. And the reason is because that the optic nerve, every single different of light, 
is doing and communicating and releasing different things. To make you understand this a little better, you all know that you need to go outside to have UV radiation to the skin so our cholesterol and nitric oxide in our blood can create diffusion to be able to create vitamin D2. So the same thing is with the optic nerve. Through the different lights we are going into, different things we see, the eyes communicate to every single system in our body. The eyes control more than 60% of all our immune response. The secondary immune response is when you eat or smell. This is why the, we need to understand the biofunction of the human body. Because it's not what most people think, oh, <laughs> oh well, my God, darling, you smell so good today, or, or, or this cake was really good. We need to remember the body is extremely black and white. It can only do what we, how, what we teach it. So I don't know really where I'm going to start here because it's so much I really want to tell because it's so much important thing. So let's take like this first, that through since we were kids, we have learned what is good and bad for us. Situations, uh, way of tone, face expressions, all of this, what you can see, react on your emotional nerve system. That in, in the opposite then control the immune response, if we talk about this first. This is why you can get a lot of anxiety and depression, because the optic nerve, if you had a very bad experience when you were a kid, you could saw a face expression or something, the optic nerve sees this and will immediately release an immune response in form of cortisol. And high amount of cortisol give you anxiety and depression. So when it comes to other things, the optic nerve is constantly scanning the environment we are in to be able to tell the body what it needs. And another thing you can say like this, how the body can use what we eat and why is it so dangerous sometimes to change our food is the optic nerve. If you learn from childhood, you can see like what you're eating is very, very routine. You are not changing your diet, your favorite food, your favorite wine, whatever. Never. Even if you think so. Because if you have a favorite food and you serve it on a plate, and as soon as you see it, the optic nerve is directly telling our system what is coming down, what it can use to create cells, liquids, and everything it needs. It's a scanner. When you look at the food that looks disgusting, it looks like... Bleh, it will actually tell you, before you even taste it, it tastes like shit. I will not try it. Because your immune response have already said, this is not good for you. Don't eat it. We cannot use it. And it's actually a really good thing how you can try this. Is if you take this delicious food, and you can manipulate with your body and make it taste like horse shit. Even if it's a good steak, whatever you like, but you just make it taste horrible. On the other plate, you make a horrible food taste like amazing. I, I used, sorry if anyone from India here, I used to compare to Indian food. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't look nice, but it tastes amazing. And you just reverse these things, and you will see that all these people you invite will actually go directly for the thing they recognize and actually push the other one away until they taste it. And this is how the optic nerve control our system. It tried to warn us. And it also comes to how it can regulate through the optic nerve, depend what you eat, where you're gonna go, if you're gonna jump, everything you do is actually communicating to our system. If we're gonna eat or drink something that has to do with the liver, alcohol, or whatever, the liver knows even before you take the first sip, something that is gonna dehydrate our, our cells is coming down, activate. And the optic nerve controls all of these things, or even taste. I mean, when you look at this amazing steak, it will activate your, so you get water in your mouth, I'm hungry. So mm -hmm. this is 
how the optic nerve is actually building our immune system. When we talk about blue light, it's actually down-regulating this immune response. This is where you can see people that sit eight, 10 hours in front of a computer, they get tired a lot faster, because we need to remind us that vitamin A, as you know it, and melatonin is regulated through retina. It's a reason the optic nerve is communicating directly with the most important glands we have in the human body, connected directly with the brain. They doesn't work anymore because they are actually knocked out. And this means also that you get problem with insomnia. You get problem with a lot of maybe emotions. You get yeah a lot of problems. I, if I'm going to talk about all this, we're going to sit here till next week. Be tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but one one thing it, I think it's important to mention, and I I remember very clear the, the day you told me about sunglasses as well, mm -hmm. because not only even we are on the blue lights constantly with mobiles on, people go to sleep, and the last thing they see is the blue light, and mm -hmm. the first thing they see when they wake up is the blue light. Mm -hmm. So we messing up so much with that beautiful nerve that carries and give us information but also you know using sunglasses i used to be addicted to sunglasses and i used to be so sensitive to the sun i couldn't be outside we be you know like really with my eyes cringing and i couldn't see the light and how much it has changed it it's been awesome and i don't even carry sunglasses more on my on my bag because i don't need it i'm not sensitive anymore to the light and which is amazing and no reason why my vitamin d was always low and everything was so wrong and and not right so yeah i think i, I think it will be good if we tell as well a little bit about that how important it is to Get yeah, when, when talk, directly. yeah, when we talk about sunglasses, it has to do and depends on several things. First of all, what kind of sunglasses you're using? Because it's the sunlight, if you are walking in extreme light all the time, is also can affect your eyes very negatively. And the yes. retina and the body's ability to regulate many things. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about sunglasses that is not good for us, then we can actually damage our eyes in the, and actually, again, manipulate with our system. Because when we go in the sunlight, what happens is the optic nerve communicates with our system that we, the body will now get attacked by UV light to be able to create massive function in our system. And this is also when it comes to our liver ability, when it comes to melatonin, if you have too strong sunlight or too bad sunglasses. The, the light is also helping the pineal gland to regulate melatonin and increase the liver function. If you have these on all the time, you have sunglasses all the time, you're blocking all of this. Mm -hmm. That means your body's ability now to do these important functions and actually communicate with the skin that is our biggest organ is now taking away from us. And light have extremely important function because this vitamin D deficiency and everything has so extremely important functions in our systems when it comes to vitamin D that is highly involved in many things and also for the female hormones and stuff like it, but also for our neural oscillation is very, very important. So. Therefore, it's very important to not have sunglasses all the time. It's also very important to understand you don't should damage and look into your sun and damage your eyes because too much light can also affect optic nerve to communicate with the immune response and other important functions, which is very bad. We can see a clear thing with people that live like, like here, or maybe even worse in the least, where it's sun all the time, that have sunglasses 24 seven, that their bodies, uh, autoimmune disease and everything is much, much higher than countries that have a little bigger variation or they don't have sunglasses all the time. If you sit in the shadow or not going directly in the light, don't use sunglasses. Let the body have an ability to create this healing process as it used the lights for. Because we need to remember that cholesterol, that many things is dangerous, 
that is not dangerous because it's very important for the body's ability to do vitamin D. So if you have sunglasses all the time, that will not happen. So that's one of the points. Mm -hmm. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> Well, that we, as you said, we can be talking here forever about that. But it's, uh, yeah, just few points that we can, um, you know, give some advices on how people can get healthier and for them to understand the, all the connections that every single part of our body, it's extremely important. So, yeah, so what we give on advice here, as we said, look at your eyes, see what you're telling you. You know, if you can use, if you're too long working on computers and stuff, I work on a clinic with a very hospital environment. So the blue, the lights, I already asked them to change. They change some of the lights, but it's still very bright. So I'm constantly using my blockers. But we can give the advice here. If you guys work on the computer all day and try to have good quality of glasses that can block these blue lights, again, it's, it's good if you're outside to have your sunglasses on to protect your routine and everything, but it's also important to your body, your eyes should be adjusting to the light. If you're not able to go outside without a sunglasses, something's not right. So um, we, again, everything, it's a balance and we have to check why am I not able to, you know, be outside without sunglasses? Why do I need sunglasses all the time? And as you said, you know, good quality of sunglasses because we see a lot of copies and this and that and then have no idea how bad this can be to the eye. So if you invest in a good sunglasses, if you are constantly outside and you have to use one, invest in a good uh, sunglasses because our health starts from what we see. It's unbelievable. I mean, it always amazes me. You said 60% of functions and, and it's so true. Like we are you know i used to skydive and i remember just the feeling just by seeing the you know the, the everything for the preparation and and folding everything i could already build up that adrenaline and that so for sure what we see it's our body will respond with so many different functions and hormones and and everything so it's also yep. important that we look for for the good and we always try to find good things to look and find the beauty in everything we see Yes. So we can. No, but it's also very them. easy to see that you can also see uh, people that are blind one way or another, because they have a shorter period on this planet than others have. It's also, if you can't see, you cannot see fear. If you skydive, as you said, you jump out, you can feel you jump out, but when the optic nerve cannot regulate what's seen, you will not feel the same thing as one that sees what's happening when you jump out of a plane. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that is very important here is also because the optic nerve regulates melatonin and melatonin that is produced in pituitary gland is actually controlling and regulating the production of glutathione in our liver. So if you have any eye damage or whatever, that will be affected. So all people that have chronic eye problems and stuff like this, here we can see a very clear and very clear, um, what you call it, connection to this. And we can see it also here when we work with people with eye problems. As soon as that, that get better, the inflammatory stage of optic nerve, whatever get better, the whole body gets better. So because we need to understand the body as a unit and we need to think like this, what is actually controlling my body's ability to be strong and make sure it can take care of issues and prevent it from systemic invisible inflammations. And here is the optic nerve more important than everything else we have because that's the only system we have that protects us from external danger. Food, it can be, remember, see like if you see a person now, it's maybe two meters coughing, you will actually move away immediately. Mm -hmm. And this is how the optic nerve controls our immune response. We think it's my feelings. It's mm -hmm. definitely not. Because the feelings is created by different immune response or situations. So it starts away beyond before. Yeah. And for our liver, that is production of the glutathione, that is one of the most important antioxidants we have to protect our DNA, to protect ourselves, it can recycle itself. If we have high amount of glutathione, 
we can never, for example, get any kind of cancer or whatever. So every single person who have liver problems is a risk factor for severe autoimmune diseases. And here is the optic nerve number one to help to fix this because the other immune response we have can only be activated internal, not external. So this is why the have the blue light glasses if you sit in the office or if you work in it as a whatever, you have a lot of time in front of the screen. The mobile phone is definitely a big danger. Kids is using iPads like crazy. Mm -hmm. And you can get blue light protection that is just plastic, it's no optician, whatever. And I think this is uh, really important. Visual fatigue that will affect your emotional and the general feeling in every day's work is a very, very big indicator that something is not good. Mm -hmm. And if you, as a normal person that see this and hear this, have these kind of feelings or whatever, and, or sandy in the eyes, whatever, go to an ANF clinic, get it checked because it's, mm -hmm. it's very, very good to do that and it will help you a lot. We can talk, as I said, Renata, we can talk for days. Yes. I would just open here now the comments and see if anyone has any questions. And another thing I would like to, just as we're talking about the eyes, how it's even influenced on posture. Um, majority of the kids that I treat that comes uh, with scoliosis, one of the first things I check is the eyes. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of like, even the balance on the frontal, like the sphenoids, the base where the, our, our brain literally sits on. You can see all this imbalance, it's unbelievable. And when you start doing eye exercises, that's one of the first things I start with. It's breathe, uh, breathing exercise and eyes exercises, and then putting the excellence balance on the optical nerve. It's just like changing. I posted recently about a scoliosis um, girl, which one of the first things I did is excellence balance and balance this vision correction and even her structural faces uh, has changed so much. So it's, it's really, really amazing to see the power when people are depressed that they're always constantly looking down. You know, like the spine, everything you're starting to go so deep into your deep frontal line and, and all the gut is starting to suffer. So, I mean, we, as you said, we can be here forever talking about yeah. that. <laughs> no, so but it's, cool. it's, it's a really cool thing, you know, talk, took this up by the body's position and stuff like this. Because uh, everything our body function is, is because of billions of different frequencies and we have 86 billion different neurons in the brain it's actually also regulating by the optic nerve and the optic nerve as you said it's very easy to do the eye test and make sure that the both eyes are synchronized because the two eyes we have is for a reason it's not only you can live with one eye everybody knows this it's no problem but they do different things to our body every single billion step of a second. So when I, one eye is contracting, the other delay, deleting, it's actually communication to our inner systems, what it needs to be done. So when we talk about kids that have, or any person that have, as you said, unregulated eyesight of some reason, or collaboration, coordination, you will always find a physical issue. And it is highly connected. And it's interesting that you said that you use excellent balance and actually because of this, this frequency made for balancing optic nerve and the two parts of the brain is that if the eyes is not working together symmetrically in any kind of way, like whatever, that means also development of the brain that is actually also helping control the development of the body is not working correctly. So all these different synthesis that we have in the system developing our cells, hormones, skeletal cells, calcium synthesis, proteins, is not now working optimization. You have one is increasing and the other one is too low. And to be able to do so, they need to be here. And that is how you can see it with the optic nerve. So that is a good point. Yeah, I give you exactly. one zero to Dubai. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a question here. Can opt, uh, opt it? neuritis be reversed with ANF? Yes. 
it's basically inflammation, yeah? yeah. So I believe uh, that's where we target and what yeah. we work. We get people here from a local hospital that have glaucoma and other problems near near optical neuritis and stuff like this. That today actually get the eyesight back. And in the hospital here, they are shocked over the results. They don't know what to say because normally that is not possible. Even if they have tried laser therapy and stuff for surgery before that, it's not happening. So now we have several patients that actually already in short time have 10 to 20 percent eyesight back from absolutely nothing, which is huge. And uh, yes, we can remove uh, inflammation in the optic nerve. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. So any more questions, we can contact us on private messages. We'll be very happy to answer. Whoever wants to know where you can find your ANF therapist around the world, it's very easy. You go to anftherapy.com and there is a map there. So you can actually zoom in and out so you can really see who is near to you. It's very cool. And we also communicate. So before COVID, we had patients traveling all around and the patients go to the therapist and we're literally a big family and we, we work together always, which is the beauty of it. And so, yeah, it's awesome. Anywhere you are, you can find us somewhere. So we wish you all good health. Yes. Thank you so much for being uh, another in another life. I'm looking forward for the next one already. <laughs> Me too. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Renata, and thank, thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, bye.